I'll just do a real quick video and let you see what's for dinner. What I have in here is some corn and some mixed vegetables. I, I, I put more corn in it so we could have more. This right here is just tomato sauce. This is one third of a can. Those 101 or 128 ounce cans, those big cans. I went ahead and split it into thirds. Um, so that's one third of a can. This right here is some cream of chicken. I have some cheese here. This is two cups. And then I have, I split up the tortillas so I can freeze them. So I have these right here. And then I have one chicken breast. And that's what we're going to be having for dinner. Oh, and then also inside of here I have some red beans. The reason I, what I kind of try to do is whatever meal I'm making, whatever the color is of the sauce or whatever, or of the food, that's what type of beans I like to use so it'll kind of blend in. Because sometimes beans just don't look most of tab, um, appetizing. Can sometimes they, it cannot be as appetizing. So anyway, I have red beans in here because it's going to go with the red sauce here. So I have my starch, which is going to be the corn tortillas. My meat, which is going to be the chicken breast. And this is, you know, already cooked. And then I have my vegetables in here, which is the mixed vegetables and extra corn. And then I also have um, my red beans in here. Now I put in, now keep in mind, all this right here is actually dehydrated, which really works really well because I can make food and I don't have to have it inside of my freezer. It can be right in storage. So anyway, this is around uh, three-fourths of a cup of mixed vegetables and I have around half a cup of actual red beans. Now when I say that, keep in mind it's going to expand because it's dehydrated. So if I say half a cup, it's probably around one, one cup, maybe a little less. So anyway, um, I'm going to put all this together and this is going to feed a family of nine. But I just want you to see what it looks like before I put it all together. Pretty cool. So I'm just going to grab the meat, slice it like that, slice it again. I'm going to do, I'm going to slice it this way, you know, like boom, 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 boom. I think with this, how thick it is, I'm going to slice it around maybe four times. Slice it up and then I'm going to dice it up and then I'm going to cut it like that and then do, 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 do. But um, this is around one pound because you're big. It's really big. So this is around a pound of chicken breast. But this is going to feed a family of nine and we'll have leftovers. So um, I'll let you see what it looks like. Hi, y'all. We're back. This is what it looks like. I went ahead and added um, two more cheese, so this is actually four cups of cheese. I sprinkled two cups inside of the mixture, and then at the end I sprinkled it on top, and then I sprinkled the mozzarella cheese on there. But this is what it looks like. And I just made it a thin layer, and I made two layers of it. But it tastes pretty darn good. And you can go ahead and top it with some more cheese if you want to, or some sour cream, tomatoes, lettuce if you want to avocados you know it's endless you can put whatever you want to put on it some hot sauce um, and if you want a spice you can even put some jalapenos in it that's what's cool about when you're cooking your own meal so anyway there you go thank you so much for watching take care and god bless